Clients are increasingly asking us to help in setting up their whistleblowing programs within their organizations. One of their concerns is whether such programs would, would have any impact on their privacy policies. In light of this, I thought you would be interested in looking at a video on this specific subject. I will start saying that in Italy there is no specific law addressing whistleblowing programs. Although our data protection authorities urge the parliament to look at this issue and adopt a law, a law has not yet passed. Accordingly, there is a high degree of legal uncertainty, in particular as to whether employers can process their employees' personal data in the context of whistleblowing program without their prior optional consent. In addition, other issues should be taken into account. For example, uh, whistleblowing programs may trigger an obligation on the employer to notify the Italian Data Protection Authority in case the program involves the setting up of a specific uh, electronic database to store data relating to fraudulent or illegal activities. In addition, if the whistleblowing program entails the processing of judicial or sensitive data such as data relating to ethnic origin, uh, religious belief, or health and so on, the employer would be required to file a request for authorization to the Italian Data Protection Authority. In fact, although the Italian Data Protection Authority uh, issued some general authorizations relating to the processing of this type of data, it is unclear whether such authorization would in fact cover the processing of this data within whistleblowing program. In view of this, if you intend to set up a whistleblowing program, you should at least consider the following requirements. First, you will have to consider whether to issue a specific privacy policy and obtain the consent of your employees. Secondly, you will have to consider whether to notify the Italian Data Protection Authority where the processing will involve the setting up of, elect of an electronic database. And thirdly, you will have to consider whether to request the Italian Data Protection Authority an authorization to process judicial or sensitive data. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to follow our Lawyers Monday.